What is up, Gig Nation? Welcome back to the channel. It has been a crazy few weeks out there. I know a lot of my subscribers are Instacart shoppers, and a lot of you recently signed up for Instacart. Now, one of the biggest comments that I'm seeing on my channel is people shopping for Instacart. You shoppers out there are not able to get enough batches. Now, I've seen this myself in Seattle. There's a lot of times when in the past I had seen more batches, and now I'm seeing zero batches when I turn my app on. And about a week ago, TechCrunch came out with an article letting us know that bots are stealing Instacart batches. This is something that's happened in the past and it's happening again. That's right, robots are actually taking these batches, they're dressing up as Instacart shoppers, going into the store, doing the shopping, and then delivering the groceries to customers. Wait, hold on a second here. Okay, so they're not actually doing the shopping and they're not delivering the groceries. Uh, they're just stealing batches and reselling them to people on other apps. Okay, okay, so these robots aren't actually doing the shopping, but they are making it much harder for us Instacart shoppers to get batches. So how do we compete in a world like this? Well, first of all, it's important to acknowledge that there are a lot of factors that are outside of your control when it comes to getting Instacart batches. As I mentioned, these bots are one of those factors. Now, Instacart has seen bots and apps that use bots in the past selecting these batches and then kind of reselling them to people who have a subscription on their apps and who want to get priority batches. It's a problem they've dealt with. They will continue to deal with it. Uh, but the issue here is, is that every time Instacart makes an update, they shut down one of these apps or they do something to their own app, these apps usually rebrand, come out under another name, and find another loophole to exploit. So this is going to be a common problem going forward, but I do expect Instacart in these dire times uh, like this to do a little bit more to shut down these bot apps. Hopefully we see a quick response here, but in the meantime, we still have to do everything that we can to make ourselves competitive and to get more of these badges. So the second big thing here that's really outside of your control is what zone you're in. Now we do have some ability to shift zones. If you're in the Instacart app, and I can pull it up right here, um, you can see that if you go into here on the side on my options, I can go to under my uh, profile, I can go to update zones, and you wanna make sure that you have all the zones that you wanna be shopping in here selected. So if there's something close by you that you haven't selected that you wouldn't mind taking batches in, you should definitely be selecting that. But some of us just live in more rural and less busy areas, and we're not gonna see as many batches here. So it's important to know that if you're you know, if you're in a rural area, you just can't expect to see that high volume of batches. Now it's going to ebb and flow during certain times of the week, and I'm gonna get into more of that later. But what you should know is that if you live in an area, let's say in rural Kansas, you can't expect to have the same volume as someone in New York City, San Francisco, LA, Seattle, one of these bigger cities uh, where people are more adapted to technology and they may have higher income to spend on something like a service like Instacart. So just make sure to manage your expectations and going into this, you know, set those at a level that are reasonable. The second big thing that you really can't control is Instacart's hiring of shoppers. There's really not a lot you can do here, and this is basic supply and demand. So Instacart has seen a ton of new customers lately. With COVID-19, people don't wanna be in grocery stores as much. So people that were not originally on the Instacart app as customers now have come to the app. Instacart, in order to counter this, hired a ton of new shoppers. So when shoppers get to a high level and customers stay the same, all of a sudden you're not gonna be seeing as many batches. Generally, this tends to balance out because new Instacart shoppers don't usually stick around for that long. So if you wait it out, maybe your area is getting very saturated right now. There's a good chance that other shoppers who aren't getting batches are just gonna drop off of the platform and find something else to do with their time. So while you can wait for the app to clear up a little bit, there's only so much you can do here, making it one of those factors that's outside of your control. But let's talk about the things that you can do right now to make sure you're getting more batches on the app. Now, some of these are a little bit more reliable than others. A lot of these factors people have kind of agreed upon, shoppers have agreed upon, 
that they make a big difference on whether or not you're getting batches. Other ones are kind of up in the air. So I'm gonna go into the ones that are really solid here that you can put in play today to make sure that you're getting more of those batches. The very first thing that you can do to get more batches is to keep that acceptance rate up. Instacart likes for its shoppers to be accepting batches that are coming your way. If you have the Instacart app, make sure that you turn notifications on so that you see batches when they're popping up. It's gonna be very competitive to get these new batches, so you need to be seeing these notifications immediately and selecting them as fast as possible. That means you have to really know what you're looking for when it comes to batches, as far as certain grocery stores that you like, the metrics that you like as far as pay, as far as tips, as far as distance traveled. You wanna be able to analyze all of this quickly and know what your range is. So really just set a range of boundaries on pay, distance, certain stores, certain numbers of items, so that you can make that decision very quickly and be more competitive than other shoppers in your area. Another big factor that you absolutely can control, which we touched on a little bit earlier, but I didn't dive into yet, is time of the week. So there's certain times of the week when people just want more groceries. They decide that they're gonna start planning their next week out and they want to get groceries for that week. So these days tend to be Sunday, Monday, and even Tuesday. Now you can also throw Saturday in the mix because some people get started early. And in my opinion, these are really the days that the app is the busiest. Sundays get really booming and Mondays do as well. So make sure that you are signed onto the app during these days. It's also important to consider the time of day that you're on the app. There's not a ton of people doing late night grocery shopping. A lot of people will start sending those new batch requests out very early in the morning. I've noticed that if I'm on around 8 a.m., 9 a.m., 10 a.m., I'm still seeing a lot of batches, but if I try and go back on in the middle of the day, I'm not gonna have as much luck. So you're gonna wanna get a good feel for the times of day in your city, in your zone, that are the busiest and you're gonna to wanna to target those. Another two big factors here are your customer feedback, that's your rating as a shopper, and your reliability rating. So these are two things that Instacart looks at because they wanna be giving batches to good shoppers. So if you're not a reliable shopper, if you've had an incident in the past or recently, maybe a couple of incidents, this could impact the number of batches that are coming your way. Also, if your ratings are low on the system, Instacart is not gonna prioritize you over a shopper with a higher rating that's right next to you. There'd be no reason to give batches to lower rated shoppers. Now I have heard from some shoppers who have had incidents that impact their reliability ratings that writing an email to support, explaining yourself, could potentially get that reliability rating improved. It could remove one of those incidents. So this is definitely something worth trying if you have any issues. If you see something show up here, go ahead and give that a shot, send an email out to support. Now one of the big factors that's really in heavy question here is whether or not your seniority on the Instacart app matters. This is something that a lot of people thought mattered in the past, but actually a lot of shoppers are saying that it doesn't matter as much anymore. Some shoppers are even saying that Instacart throws more batches to the new shoppers in order to get them hooked on the app to try and you know lower that turnover rate because they lose a lot of those new shoppers quickly, which is really unfortunate for those Instacart shoppers that have been on the app for a long time. But while some shoppers are saying that new Instacart shoppers are taking all the batches, there are still some people who think that seniority does matter and is a factor. So, you know, this one's really a question mark. I decided to throw it in here because there's enough people that think it's a factor, but I wouldn't worry too much about your seniority. I would just focus on the things that you can control and improve upon more quickly. And that brings us to the last factor here, and that is your shopping speed. The amount of time it takes you to get through a batch, this is definitely something that Instacart looks at, and they take this and they compare it to other shoppers within your zone. So your shopper speed uh, in Oklahoma might not have to be the same as it would be in New York City. New, maybe New York City is more competitive, there's faster shoppers. That means you're gonna have to get a lower shopper speed. A lot of people look at a benchmark like 90 seconds per item and think that's you know what Instacart looks at to see if you're fast enough. But ultimately it's gonna be compared to other shoppers in your area. So what you really wanna do here is make sure that you remain competitive against shoppers in your area. If you're shopping relatively quickly, then Instacart's going to continue to throw you those new batches. 
They really care about their customers. Customers want their groceries quickly. If it takes you a longer time, then Instacart is probably gonna throw those batches to a shopper that's faster. And that pretty much rounds up the list. Now, I definitely missed some things. I don't know everything about shopping for Instacart. I don't claim that I do. So if you have a tip or a trick here, leave it in the comments down below. Or maybe I missed something, feel free to critique me. I am not against that. I kind of like to get other people's opinions here because at the end of the day, we just want to help shoppers improve and get more batches so that they can earn enough money to pay for the things that they need to pay for. If you're an Instacart shopper and you haven't been getting batches, maybe you've tried something, it may be a good time to diversify, to look at other gigs. Make sure to check out gigsharks.com to find other gigs in your area. There's a lot of other delivery gigs out there uh, through other companies that can also pay you if you have downtime. And it's always important to diversify. That's why I've worked so hard on gigsharks.com to get this website up. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more Instacart videos, for more gig economy videos, for more side hustles. I will literally cover it all.